Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. My name is Deshauna and in today's video I am going to talk to you all about week 27 of pregnancy. This is my 27 week pregnancy update video and I make these videos weekly here on this channel. They are uploaded on Saturdays. And if you are new here, if this is the first video that you're seeing from me, welcome. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I am documenting my entire pregnancy journey here on this channel, all the way from when I took the pregnancy test <laughs> and found out that I was pregnant, all the way and beyond. So I have so much to share with you in the coming months, as well as a nursery tour, labor and delivery vlog, and just updates once baby gets here. So if you're interested in being a part of the community, go ahead and subscribe. I am on a journey to reaching 1,000 subscribers here on this channel, and I am so, so close. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And if you are interested in hearing everything that has gone down this week, go ahead and just keep on watching. So in these videos, I always follow the exact same format. So this video is no different. So for 27 weeks, I will start off by talking to you about baby's stats and figures. I will then move into baby's development. And then I will talk to you about how I've been doing, what's been going on with me this last week, then any baby prep that happened, there's actually a whole lot to catch you up on. And then I will end with showing you the belly bump. Okay. Make sure that you all watch this video the whole way through. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what has come in recently and what the nursery is looking like. It's not going to be huge because again, it's not done and there's a lot of things on the wall that need to go up. But I wanted to just show you some of the main big pieces that we have going on in the nursery right now. So make sure you watch this entire video and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I use two different apps. The very first one is Pregnancy Plus. This is the one I've been talking to you all about ever since the very beginning. And inside Pregnancy Plus, it says that baby is 14.8 inches long and 2.22 pounds here at 27 weeks. While mostly sleeping, your baby's eyes can now partially open and those tiny eyelids are able to blink. Your baby is able to recognize different levels of light even inside your womb. The little body is getting chubbier as fat is depositing underneath the wrinkled skin. As y'all know, I like to do baby size comparisons, so Inside of the Pregnancy Plus app, I always do size by suites. However, from week 24 all the way to week 27, baby has been the exact same like reference point, and so that's a chocolate cake. Um, I showed you this in past videos, but this is where that second app comes in. So I have been using what to expect, and inside that app, you can do a lot of things, but I'm just using it for the 80s to 90s nostalgia comparison. So, your baby is as big as a kid-sized pair of jellies. Do y'all remember jellies? I know they tried to make a comeback here recently, and there were some issues about like them causing like scarring and like weird things on the baby's feet. But back in the day, like the old school jellies were super cute and durable and you had them in all colors. So this is what the app is telling me. Um, and it has an example of the pink jellies. So let's see if I can put that up there. Can you all see that? Aw, so cute, the pink jellies. So I love doing size comparisons, especially if it's super nostalgic like this one. I can't wait to see what week 28 brings. That will be a good time. Let's get into what's been going on with me and how I've been feeling. I'm gonna pull up my notes again in my phone. So for week 27, I have been craving like random things at random times. I was just talking to my mom not that long ago about like how my cravings are never consistent, but if I get in my brain that I want something in that moment, I hope that I can have it. Um, if I don't, it's not that big a deal. There's some times where I can't get what I want at the time that I want it, so it's okay. I'm not like freaking out over it, but 
um this past week i was really interested in rita's if you all don't know what rita's is it's like italian ice with like custard and it's just ugh, it's so good so i just pop it popped in my head one day and i was just like i really want something sweet and i was like oh what's around here that i haven't had in a while i was like oh my gosh i want rita's and then as soon as i got that in my head i was like oh it's kind of you know we have to get in the car we have to go drive it go pick it up and all this stuff but um i tried to like let it go but like 20 minutes later i was still looking up when the store closed and i was saying like husband like we need to go get this so we went to rita's also things like he my husband asked me what i wanted for dinner and for the most part i can tell you what i don't want <laughs> so i can eliminate things but coming up with ideas is sometimes kind of hard for me so uh this particular day he asked i wanted pizza it was one of the days that we had allotted to eat out and it was okay in our budget and i just was like i want pizza but i was like i don't want just any pizza i want mount mike's pizza something about mountain mike's pizza was like really good so i don't like any other pizza really like biology is not that great to me round table is not that great to me so my cravings have been really interesting and really specific um but not like super long lasting so oh my gosh y'all i finally got out of the house so when i say that i haven't gone anywhere let me be clear like i have stepped out of my apartment and i walked around the apartment complex sometimes my husband and i will take on the next block like the neighboring block and we'll walk around that block and come back there have been times where I wanted to ride with him when he went to ship off some orders so some folks have ordered some stuff from my business during this time and i would just sit in the car when he took the packages inside to the post office to mail them off so i have been out of the house but when i say that i haven't been like out or around people like legit i haven't <laughs> i'm not engaging with anybody in person i'm not saying hi to anybody like I don't have a lot of human interaction other than like my husband um lots of zoom calls at work but also like maybe my mom every now and then so this past weekend a friend of ours a mutual friend of ours got married and they did a covid 19 like extravaganza in the backyard and they provided everyone with masks they had temperature checks everybody before you came into the venue it was outdoors like i said in the backyard so folks were kind of spread out it was it was just like my first time being around people and one of my sorority sisters was there and it was just a really good time to catch up and you know her boyfriend and my husband are really close friends so it was just a really good time to just be out <laughs> and didn't stay too too long um we danced a little bit you know had had some fun but it was just great to be around people so that was the first time that i had been out or around people where they were like oh my gosh you're pregnant look at your belly like i literally hadn't had any of that um since i was sheltering in place like as soon as i started showing so it was really fun to get out and i am so grateful that we were able to make that small gathering happen for a very special person in our lives a very special friend and honestly the bride caught the bouquet at our wedding and she got engaged maybe like two months later a month later and so it was really just amazing to see it all come full circle and attend their wedding so that was super special to me i am still taking tons of potty breaks i have just experienced this week the immense pressure of feeling like you have to go pee and then going to the restroom and it being like a droplet or two right so like this feeling of like oh i really have to go and then you go and it's like a quarter of your normal go do you know and i finally put together my very last virtual baby shower so we are having a total of three virtual baby showers here in the coming months so i think there's gonna be two in july and one in august therefore i can be all done i will be getting the rest of the things for the registry and finishing up the room and just focusing and being ready for baby to arrive so that's gonna be really really fun that's about it for me um, ginger ale is still life <laughs> so let's talk about baby prep oh my gosh this was such a big week 
I am so excited. So we had a couple of things get delivered this week. We had a few gifts from friends and family that has come in via Amazon or things like that. But we had some big items that came in. The first one is the car seat. I am so excited that the car seat came. The second is our crib. We have our crib now. And we also had the pack and play come in. So we have two floors and just having somewhere to have baby be while we're downstairs. Uh, it has a bassinet, it has a changing table, it has space for stock of diapers and wipes and so we can set up camp downstairs so we're not, you know, always coming back and forth to her room. And so that came in this week as well. I'm really excited. My husband put up the crib. We learned a little bit about the car seat. The drawers are here. So these are the infamous drawer knobs I was talking about. Definitely just hit myself in the head right now. But the ones from Amazon that I had to return and then wait for them to come back. Anyway, these are what they look like. I'm gonna insert a picture of what this looked like before and after I changed the handles. I think that you all would appreciate all the hard work I put into making these handles fit because the other ones just were not doing it for me in this room or for the theme of this room and for baby girl. So I will go ahead and insert that picture now. So yeah, for me, there's no contest. I like these ones better. It brightens up the space. It looks a little bit more classy and yeah, that's just exciting. So. And honestly, there just has been so much movement of the things that we have in our house. Like it's not just nesting and, and making the nursery. It's really been like a whole home overhaul. Like, every little thing has impacted the next little thing. And, you know, I've gotten rid of clothes, we've moved furniture, we've built furniture, we've gotten rid of furniture, and it's just really been an overhaul of our home. We, I, I'm sure you notice, I am in filming in a different location. The background in the bookshelf is no longer there that I was filming on before. We moved it downstairs, so it's really been um, a shift in kind of our home. We've purchased some new artwork to go downstairs on our walls and I'm going to be purchasing some things for the wall in here. It's just been a lot but it's been really fun. It's forced us to find a place for everything and make sure that everything has its place. All right so now for the belly bump. All right, so here's Belle from the side. Here's Belle from the front. Here we go. So, as you all can see, here is her dresser. Her diaper pill will go over here in this corner, and then we will go ahead and put her changing pad here, and We'll keep most of this pretty blank and maybe her hatch baby sound machine. These are the knobs up close and personal that I was talking to you about and how important these were for the room. And then here's her diaper bag. So I plan to do a diaper bag tour just of like how this bag is so amazing, why I chose it. But there we go for this wall. <laughs> and so don't be alarmed, that stuff over there is actually going to go up on the wall. But if you remember, this is the wall where my bookshelf was. So this is the wall that's directly opposite of the wall you just saw. And here is our crib that came in. This is the Baby Leto Moto. And the mattress is on its way. This is not going to be what is above her crib. This is just what was there already when this was our office. <laughs> I do still do work in here, hence our desk over here, which I won't show you, it's a little messy. Against this wall to on this side, <laughs> that's the wall with the window. And then over here, is the wall with the closet, the door to enter, and then a space for her bookshelf. So that's this wall. 
Last but not least, I wanted to show you the car seat. So we decided to go with the Uppa Baby travel system. So the Uppa Baby Mesa is the car seat that we have. I got it in the color Jake. So here you can see it's just black and the hardware itself. It's coming up a little bit more gray than it is in person, but um, the hardware is gray. And this will match the stroller system that we are getting. I believe I got that in a different color, but it's going to very well match seamlessly. And so the Upper Baby Mesa comes with the infant inserts inside and all the things that you need to keep baby safe, as well as the car seat base. So this whole bottom piece, so from here all the way down, that is the piece that will remain in the car. And then you can simply, oh, let's see if I can do this y'all. I'm so pregnant. <laughs> There's a latch back here. Basically you unlatch it and then you have the car seat ready to go with you and the base will stay behind in the car. You go ahead, bring baby back to the car, plop it right in, it clicks, and there you go. Also, I don't know if y'all are interested, but this is baby girl's closet. So here's where our luggage is sitting, car seat, and some other office stuff over there. This is all the swag that I got from the FSA store, from the free uh, registry bags, and uh, one of them, a couple of items are a gift that I received, but this is her closet right now. Obviously, we will be changing those hangers out, but I opened this because I wanted to show you this little dress. This little dress was mine when I was little, and we kept it, and this will be baby girl's dress, and it's just really sweet to have something of mine for her in this space and I can't wait to transform this closet <sighs> it looks so messy but y'all look at all these bottles one two three four five six seven eight nine that's nine bottles that I literally got for free so that's about it for this 27 week pregnancy update thank you all so so much for watching please remember to subscribe to this channel I am on that journey to reach a thousand subscribers and I know that I can do it. I am so, so close. So I would love to have you be a part of the family. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And then I would love to hear from you. I am super engaged in my comment section with all of you. We have a lot of fun down there. So I'm excited to hear from you. I upload videos here three times a week. Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I look forward to seeing you right back here in my next one. And remember to always fill your cup. Bye.